Oh, wow. Um, so somebody is, is really internalizing a lot, doing a lot of worrying, overthinking, keeping things um, to themselves. So you might recognize this as being your energy. If not, it's your person. So, wow. Yeah, someone's coming to a decision about some kind of a commitment or a foundation. It could also be their own inner beliefs. You know, sometimes we have an idea of the person we are, the way we think, the things we believe, that sort of thing. And we can really commit to that idea of ourselves and somebody might be changing that up. So let's keep going. I'm noticing this is, is quite a kind of monochrome deck almost, but... You know, there are bursts of colour here and there, but this all feels very, you know, sort of dark. So maybe you, your person, maybe your connection is feeling a little heavy at the start of the week. Okay. So I feel that your person wants to communicate with you about the idea of rebuilding together. And this will apply... Um, whether you, you've had a commitment, you know, a relationship, whether you're in one now or not, there's something here. They want to build anew. So they either want to build something from scratch with you to rebuild something or to introduce something new into your existing relationship. But they're not talking about this. So let's let's dive straight in here and see why not. What is this about? Actually, yeah, let's use the um, Hermetic Tarot to just stay on theme with the, the black and white feels like that sort of energy for some reason okay so can you tell us about this three of pentacles eight of wands situation wow the ten of cups so there's something your person is looking at and it feels within reach to them and it's about you and this connection there's something they want to build that they believe is going to bring in so much happiness right now holding back not speaking to you about this, it, it's not making them happy. I think this might be, you know, you could feel this energy too, this worry, this anxiety, this overthinking, but it's definitely your person, at least. Tell us more, please. The Eight of Swords, yeah, absolutely, trapped inside their minds, overthinking, worrying, telling themselves, oh, I can't because of this, or I'm stuck because of that. And we have two eights. Eight is a number of movement, tangible movement in the 3D. So your person is this week worrying, agon agonizing, <laughs> agonizing over pushing things forward, reaching out to you, sending a message. Yeah, see the seven of pentacles in reverse. They're tired, tired of waiting, tired of waiting to talk about this, to take this risk, to open up to you, to suggest something. Well, let's see, what do they want to work on? What is it they want to build here? The Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so they want to bring you some kind of love offer. But why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? That's concerning because that's a small offer. You know, why is an offer that's so small? Maybe not coming in. Tell me about this. Tell me about this page. The Tower. Okay, good. So old, old energy. For some reason I heard old dry energy. Maybe some of you are sick of, <laughs> are sick of waiting for something to come in that's not coming in. Um, that's being blown up. So your person wants to come in with a open-hearted, heart-centered message, probably by text, direct message, email, that sort of thing, you know, via the internet, about building with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in the past, I feel that you were offering your, your heart, possibly something tangible as well. And, um, your person wasn't taking it. There were delays, the Seven of Pentacles. This pushed you into going forward on your own inner spiritual journey, which I feel you, you've been doing for some time and progressing, you know, very well with that. And your person's catching up. And now it's not that they want to take your offer or just give you an offer. You know, here's a present. Oh, thank you. Here's one back. They want something that um, is fertile. You know, you give a bit, they give a bit, you give some more, they give some more, and it just builds. It just grows. Oh, some of them are worried that they're really jumping ahead here, that if they were to reach out and then you were to be receptive, 
that that would be it. You'd have one conversation and it wouldn't go further and they wouldn't know how to articulate that they wanted more or how to then keep things going or to strike up another conversation. Or if they were to, I don't know, for example, send you some flowers, you'd say, oh, that's nice, thank you. And it wouldn't, you know, they want to grow this, but I, I don't think they even know the words to say, how to express this. Wow, okay, let me just get a few more cards because this feels like, you know, it's important here. It's a big message. Anything else, please? Wow, okay, lots of things. Um, exactly, the hermit in reverse. They've been thinking about this for a long time. You know, they too have been going within, um, going on their own inner journey and they realise, you know, look, we have an egg rebirth maybe it's not an egg maybe it's a stone but to me it's making me think of an egg you know they want to grow something out of an egg comes like a baby chick if we think of um you know eggs fertilized by sperm we get a baby we get growth um yeah basically every single egg i can think of is produces something new new life Yeah, so they don't want to give you something and for it to be a kind of like a dead end. Um, so not only are, are they worrying should they reach out, you know, now we've moved into, well, how? How do they reach out and to let you know that they want this to be more, they want this to be a continuous thing, continuous dialogue, continuous growth, continuous forward movement? So let's go over here and see why. Why are they so worried and anxious? Why are they over overthinking so much about this? Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. They're holding on tight. They do not want to let you go. The High Priestess. I feel there's lots of um, communication here. Telepathic communication. Um, astral travel at night. Um, if, you, if you ever, for example, wake up and... You have a very intense feeling and it could be high vibration, low vibration, and it's overwhelming. And you're just thinking, where did this come from? I was not, you know, I didn't feel like this when I went to sleep. I don't remember having any dreams that would make me feel this way. It's probably your person with this high priestess energy coming from them. Yeah, but they're being quiet at this time and they are holding on to you tight. Why? because you are their empress. Whether you're a woman or man watching this, this is, um, you know, divine feminine energy. They're looking at you as being the person for them. I'm hearing they want to balance the scales of justice. So again, you were giving in the past and not only for, for many of you were they not giving back, but they weren't taking what you were offering. Some of them were flat out pretending they couldn't even see it. And, you know, it would, for each of you, it will vary as to why they did that. Maybe, um, they had a 3D situation that meant they couldn't do anything about it. Maybe they had to go on this, this spiritual inner journey to be ready to, to look at what you were offering, to consider it. Maybe something about you, what you were offering, or this connection really challenges their, their beliefs here. Okay, tell me about the hanged man. Ten of swords. King of Swords reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. So they were defensive. Some of them even lied in the past and it created a painful ending. And, um, you know, they've been thinking about this for a long time. So ever since things ended or something blew up or there was an argument, again, whether you're entirely separate or, you know, all the way through into a relationship, there was some kind of falling out, complete ending or, you know, someone felt stabbed in the back. Your person has been thinking about this. I heard let you down. They let you down. Now I'm hearing fell through. It's like something came up and you were depending on them or you wanted to share something with them and their response, it just, it wasn't good enough. You know, it wasn't um, really what it should have been if you, if they were supposed to be supporting you in some way they didn't come through if um you know you thought you would share something with them and they would be happy for you they weren't or they didn't pay attention or they didn't respond or they didn't seem to care you know um and i'm hearing final maybe that was like the last thing you know the final straw and for many of you i feel that you haven't been in, in communication or contact since 
but we have the four of pentacles twice so what you might not know is how tightly your person has been holding on to you in this connection you know nevertheless and we have the magician they're trying to manifest you back some of them will be doing this very consciously you know if they're into manifesting um others of them are probably doing it without even realizing because they want you to come back they really want to reconnect and they're probably daydreaming visualizing and that you know combined with their feelings is is a manifestation okay tell me about the two of pentacles the six of cups in the reverse the eight of wands wow they are torn between the past and moving forward you know they want things to be different to how they have been but they're nervous about moving things forward i'm hearing what if we lose what we already have so whatever you have whatever the bond is it's precious to them you know remember you are their empress and they're saying well i know things could be a lot better but i also know that this could all go away it could all be taken away and then i won't even have this connection with you okay so let's see what it is that's changing tell us about the hierophant with judgment please the nine of cups wow so whatever they were committed to it wasn't making them happy. The hanged man in reverse. They're finally cutting themselves free and moving. And look, the lovers in reverse. So this is something they were very heavily tied to. Could even have been karmic to do with past lives. But it slipped into its shadow side. And whatever they did, they couldn't bring it out back into the light. The lovers in reverse is like the flip side of the devil. You know, um, and we saw that, didn't we, right at the start. So your person is really realizing whether this is... A situation their own mindset their own sort of inner development something they were doing was just you know not good and um they've made the decision to cut themselves free of that this over here do you know this is so exciting and i feel it's really sweet because it's like they've never tried they've never wanted um to have this sort of connection with someone and to watch it grow and to want to nurture it you know the egg it's like a child you know they're saying this your energy their energy has created the, the energy of this connection and they're now saying okay um how do how do we do this how do we grow this this how do we care for this they're probably feeling like this connection is more fragile than it is you know yeah babies okay they're they are fragile to a point but they're also quite sturdy um and your person has to kind of figure that out that this connection can withstand pretty much anything. You know, it doesn't mean that in the 3D you will both stay regardless what happens, but the connection, the connection could potentially always be there. Um, so it's safe, it's safe to try things out. It's safe to, um, you know, to, to write to you, to make an offer, to make a suggestion. But it's almost like this is kind of the first time they're doing this, not just with you, but in general. Okay, so let's get some Archangel messages. Okay, Archangels, what do you want to say to my viewers, please? What, what are their messages of advice and guidance? What do you want them to know at this time? Okay, we have prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So for some of you, moving forward with this connection might change things up for you in a 3D sense. You know, maybe you need to move home to be with your person or you're thinking of moving home or moving in together, for example, or changing your job or something like that. Um, on a separate note, for those of you who are thinking about some sort of career move or um, making a hobby your career or something like that, this seems to be, um, uh, you know, the green light. Go ahead. Indigo and crystal children, you have a bond with children in particular. You can help children who are sensitive. So this is really funny because I was just talking about babies, you know, and the energy of caring for a child. Your person really wants to care for and nurture this connection and they're nervous, you know, it's like having your first child and, <clears throat> you know, that sort of, <laughs> that feeling of being overwhelmed and it's kind of awe-inspiring and terrifying um, in equal measure. That's how they feel now that they're fully, you know, looking at this. 
Also, for some of you, your um, inner child might be asking for a bit of attention, a bit of nurture. And I do feel that many of you are probably star seeds. And if you have been feeling recently with, you know, lots of things that are going on in the world, particularly political, um, which is maybe why, I don't know, Boris Johnson came up at the start, that you, you kind of feel that there's too much um, unrest and stress and you know, you're not feeling safe or comfortable. It could be because it's, you know, what everything that's going on here on earth, it's making you feel that you'd rather just be home, wherever home is for you in terms of your, your planet and your soul group of origination. Okay, any other messages please for my viewers? Victory just popped out, so, um, I feel that you are victorious here in this connection and also in terms of finances, career, your stability, you know, working with your root chakra. We have clairsentience. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Yeah, so really pay attention to any physical sort of niggling feeling that you have that keeps coming back. Obviously, if you need and want to get it checked out by a doctor, but otherwise it could be a message for you and especially those emotional feelings. So remember I was talking about waking up and feeling a really intense emotion, you know, is that a message? Is it a message from your person possibly? So yeah, really pay attention to these, these feelings that are coming up because I do feel it's a message, whether it's your inner child, a message from your divine masculine or your soulmate, a message from the divine helping you to figure out your next steps. I think it's well worth maybe writing these feelings down or, or working through them, um, you know, just doing something proactive with them. Okay, so, oh yes, let me get one of these. So let me try and show you these a bit better. And um, so these are by Renee, I, I spoke about her before. Um, I will put her, link in the description box actually no I'll, I'll pin it to the comments under the timestamps but um i think these cards are great and i was a bit disappointed that they didn't sort of come out clear in the last reading so let's see what message can we have please for my viewers so a message of advice and guidance please Okay. Spiritual warrior. Yeah, exactly. Look how much you've been through. Remember what I was saying that, you know, during this delay, you, you use this opportunity to go on your own inner spiritual journey, you know, and you, you've come so far. A, a full light being can awaken a room full of people without a single word. They are gifted healers, way showers, grid liners and teachers. You know what you are deep inside, but it's hard work. Spirit is asking you not to give up yet. Pick up that, pick that sword back up. You are not finished. Yeah, this, this journey isn't finished. Um, also, I was speaking about some of you being star seeds and where does it, what does it say that I want to talk about? Way showers, grid liners. You might be blueprint of souls. Blueprint of souls, there are several different groups, but they effectively created, um, the blueprint for earth so you know when they incarnate and they see that we've come very far from the original sort of blueprint it's really distressing for them so if you feel that way that could be a reason why and if it's something you wanted to look more into i offer akashic record readings which look into those um i would say i would suggest with those because you know they're an investment you often don't really need to get more than one in a lifetime so have a look around you know every sort of reader offers slightly different ones and see um, what resonates with you. Okay, so let's get you one of these um, spell cards. As I always say, you can use this um, however you like for manifestation. You can use it directly, you can take inspiration from it, or you, you could just take nothing at all from it. So, Spirit, what is the message, please? What's the best message for my viewers and my subscribers at this time concerning their connection? Okay, moon spells. Flower full moon spell. I feel that we've had this before. This invocation honours the season, planting seeds of positive change in your life. 
when the full moon of May reaches the highest point in the night sky, light one red and one green candle on your kitchen altar. Wind three stalk stalks of jasmine and lavender into a crown for the top of your head. Holding an apple in each hand, speak this spell while circling the altar sunwise, clockwise, three times. Moon of flowers, light the way to change tonight through the power of earth and air, water and fire. As I bite this fruit of knowledge, I am thus inspired. All possibilities are before me and so it is. Okay, we have definitely had this before because it's quite extravagant. Um and what it's asking you to do. So what I would say is it's obviously not May, um, well, unless you're watching this in May, I would say do this on whichever night you feel guided. I mean, this card came out, you know, of a whole deck for a reason. So something about planting seeds, planting new energy, your person, you know, the egg, new energy here. So um, yeah, basically manifestation, you can switch out any of these ingredients or, um, things, objects, <laughs> um, yeah, just, just work with it. Will it focus? Probably not. Um, work with this however you see fit. But I think the general idea is, you know, you're, you're a light worker. Many of you watching are readers as well, healers. Um, you're bringing in new energy into this connection, into yourself, leading the way for you and your person. Um, yeah. And this isn't this isn't about having to be self-sacrificing, you know, healing others over yourself and all of that. It's sim it's more that by healing yourself and simply by being here, you're helping others to heal others who come into contact with you, whether you know it or not, in some way, shape or form, you're, you know, inspiring them, maybe in some cases, you're even triggering them to help them look at um, what needs healing or what's holding them back. Okay, so I'll leave it here. Um, we'll do the one card, one question reading actually in a moment, but um, thank you for watching. If you're leaving us here, I hope this helped. If you'd like to book a reading with me, Tarot or Akashic, the link is below. I have a Facebook group, I have some free meditations, um, a link to Twitter, so lots of things down there. Um, I will pin Renee's info for this deck under the timestamps. Anything else? I think that's it. No channeled songs or anything like that um no okay good so let's move on to the one question one card poll Okay, so Jackie Felder, thank you for your question. If you want to leave a question for um, Wednesday's reading, please just leave it in the comments below and you will be entered into the draw. Okay, so Spirit, Jackie wants to know, is she manifesting the wrong person? What can you tell us about this, please? So Jackie Felder, is she manifesting the wrong person? What do you want to say to Jackie about this? Okay, is Jackie manifesting the wrong person? Oh, spirit saying they're only wrong if you think they're wrong. So, <clears throat> I mean, essentially that's that you are co-creating. You know, if you want to be with someone and have a particular experience, spirit will help to make that a possibility for you, will help to manifest that for you. So, you know, essentially you are in charge and spirit doesn't want to say this person's right or wrong. Okay, so what can you tell us then about this person that Jackie is manifesting? Oh, okay, that's too many. Can we just get one card, please? Is this the wrong person? Wrong in air quotes. Okay, the King of Wands. Yeah, so Spirit, would, rather than telling you this person is right or wrong, wants to tell you a little bit about them. So this is very, um, very strong masculine energy. This is someone who, on the surface at least, we'd have to obviously dig deeper to see what's going on underneath. But on the surface, this person is very confident, dynamic, um, probably very attractive to lots of people. If this is a man, you know, he's kind of a classic sort of manly man. <laughs> if it's a woman, she she's a, maybe like an alpha. Um, well, either way, an alpha. Um, 
But yeah, so if this is the sort of, um, you know, person you're looking to manifest, the sort of energy, then yeah, go for it, great. This person is very much maybe 3D focused. We've got the red and orange here, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, lots of sexual energy, maybe a real focus on work, career, stability, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, so really have a think, is this kind of the energy you're looking to manifest? If so, perfect, then yes, it's the right person. If you're thinking, well, you know, I'd rather someone who maybe is a bit more spiritual at this time or um, a bit a bit less, um, you know, I'm kind of getting an energy here of, I know the best way, I've thought this through, I'm very confident and I'm used to people getting on board with me. If you if you maybe want someone who's a bit more flexible, perhaps, maybe this might not be the best person. But like I said, please don't write someone off completely based on one card. But the overall energy I'm getting is this is someone uh, attractive, an action taker, very strong, strong personality, a leader, um, yeah, and actually the fact that this has come out upright is, is really great because in reverse, I would say, yeah, probably steer clear. This is someone who has, you know, dictator energy about them, someone who's wounded, someone who, who can be aggressive. This is, um, no, this is actually, I can see why this is someone you might want to manifest. So I think, you know, yeah, go for it is what spirit is saying. Okay. So I hope that helped. Uh, thank you. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Oh, on Wednesday, we'll have a look at messages. So what is it your person wants to say to you? What do they want you to know? And even if you're speaking, you know, even every day, if you're in a connection, is there anything else that they're wanting to bring up, wanting to talk to you about? So um, yeah, we'll have a look at all of that on Wednesday. Okay, take care. Bye.